So it's been almost a month now. I have been trying this Android emulator called Gameloop. This isn't some brand new Android emulator, but I never actually tried this. I tried it once when the PUBG Mobile came out and this was the official PUBG Mobile Android emulator. At that time, I believe there were a few games that you could play in this Android emulator, but now it has grown so much it is a official Android emulator for many, many Android games. PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty, Free Fire, and many more. So after testing this, in my opinion, this is the best Android emulator for gaming. I can give you guys some solid reasons. Since I'm talking too good about this Android emulator, this isn't a sponsored video or no, nothing like that. This is just my genuine opinion. It's up to you whether you wanna take it or drop it, yeah. <laughs> First main reason why this is the best Android emulator is that any game that you play in this Android emulator have higher graphics quality and they run really well. Second, most of the games are optimized for this Android emulator. The game will have key mapping profile so you don't have to do it manually. So you can download games from the Google Play Store but the games that you download from Google Play Store won't run that well. If you download the games that are shown in Game Loop Store or homepage or library section those games will run way better because they are optimized to run better on a game loop. There are some games that aren't optimized for game loop, but they are still available in game loop store. So basically, if you see a game loop logo on top of the game logo, you can actually hover your mouse there and it will say optimized by game loop. So basically the game is officially optimized by game loop and it will run perfectly. Plus it will have the key mapping profile. Some games or apps doesn't have that logo, which means they won't run as good as the optimized games or apps. So for example, you can see this app, Google app doesn't have the game loop logo. I think I have talked too much. I have tried my best to explain everything. Now let me show you guys some games. All right. So let's start this with uh, Call of Duty, which is officially supported by game loop and optimized by game loops. I'm going to start this and you'll be amazed to see the graphics quality and the gameplay. <laughs> yeah, it is actually really good Android emulator to play Android games. Okay, even in the main menu of the game you can see the graphics quality it's amazing you know you can actually compare this with other android emulators you can go and open the same game on other android emulator and you can compare them and the game will look way better in this android emulator yeah it's really good okay let's uh, i don't know what loadout to choose i don't really play this game <laughs> but you know uh, look at the graphics, all right? This is what I was talking about. Okay, my friends are dying. I should play. <laughs> okay, I have the auto fire enabled. So, you know, for a mobile game, looking this good on a PC, on a Android emulator, is really good. Trust me. If I were to play this same game on other Android emulator, either it won't run or even if it runs, it's going to look bad, all right? This is actually, let me kill this guy first. Oh, are these bots? Okay, I got one, I got one, I got one. So what I was saying is that this thing is actually really good to play Android games. You can see zero lags. Okay, everything is running so well. Hunter killer drone deployed. <laughs> Hunter killer drone? Really? That's a thing? I never knew about that. Okay, we should win this, right? I'm just playing against the bots. Yeah, this is just one example. Let's do another example. Just look at the graphics. They look stunning, amazing, right? For a mobile game to look this good, on APC is really good. I have this similar game called Standoff. Let's do a quick tour of this game too. Look at this. Fantastic, right? It's like I'm playing a PC game. This game looks even better. Wow. 
Right, I can't seem to find a people. Oh, I found. No, he's so good. My friend is so good. He's winning. Where is the other people, man? Come on. <laughs> Finally found one. Oh no, they are so good. <laughs> I think I'm playing against actual people, so it's not a good idea to play this game. I just have to get one kill, right? Oh no, I have the shotgun. <laughs> How am I supposed to win this against the rifle? Okay, one more try. I think he's still there. Oh. Got him? Did I? Did I? Did I? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, look at me. I'm so... He's... Oh, they spawn... Oh, no. They are actual people, I think. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna exit this out. You saw the graphics and everything, right? Now, I don't have to show you guys each and every game, actually. Now, let's just talk a few more things about this. This thing is still in beta. They, I think, recently launched a 64-bit version of this uh, Android emulator. The Android version is actually 64-bit, so it can support more games. So maybe you'll face some problems like the game not running properly or something like that uh, actually i have seen that in call of duty sometime the graphics will glitch and i won't see anything so i have to relaunch the game and it runs fine but i think this is actually the best android emulator for gaming yeah for real there are a bunch of android emulators as we all know uh, but this android emulator works a little bit differently this android emulator is focused on gaming only yeah you can run android apps too but it's not as good as the other android emulators when it comes to running android apps because it doesn't actually have any android systems interface so yeah this is actually really good at gaming but really bad at doing the other android things like running apps or maybe some other things that you do on android emulator or your android phone this thing is best only if you're a gamer and you want to play Android games on a PC. So if you play Android games using Android emulators, then I highly recommend you guys to try this once and I'm pretty sure that you'll like it. It's actually really good for gaming. Yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> so that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.